minutes. Thank you very much, Kincorla. Basically, this bill is the Rural Equality Bill, and what it's trying to do is to look at, I suppose, uh, all the acts and all the bills and everything that comes before this House and the impact that they have on the, rural, the social and economic status of people in rural Ireland. As we know, there are huge inequalities between people living in rural Ireland and people living in urban Ireland. And it was very interesting there last week. I remember watching the debate on television, which was about the, the, the schools and how you know the, the religious denominations in the schools and how these people in Dublin are having such terrible problems getting children into their schools. Where I live in Ahavas, there are 60 children attending the local school. The school over the road from it in Clune has something the same. And if there's no more families in our region in the next while, those schools will be under threat of losing teachers and actually closing. In Kilty Clogher in North Leitrim, the rural school there is in threat of closing this year. You know, the inequality that exists in this country is really an inequality of ensuring that we can have people living in rural Ireland. And people living in rural Ireland means we have to have infrastructure in rural Ireland. It means we have to have uh, a, de a development of, I suppose, jobs and opportunity. An opportunity can only come if you are on a platform where you can reach that opportunity. And it is true to say that everyone has an access to education and has an access to all of these things. But at the end of the day, for many, many people living in rural areas across the length and breadth of Ireland, they, have, they are not in a position for to reach the opportunity which may exist. And that's a huge problem for an awful lot of people in our society. And if we institute laws and different things in this parliament, we end up doing them. And in the vast majority of cases, we see that they only look after the people that live where there are large populations. We look at, the, for instance, the road network. There's a motorway, motorway network in Ireland that was brought to the, the attention of many people in this, uh, this assembly over the past couple of weeks ago by the, I think it was the, the Chambers of Commerce in Donegal, in Sligo, in Leitrim, in the various areas. When you look at the map of the road network, it doesn't go near the northwest at all. It's similar with the rail network. It blocks out huge areas of the country. Now, if we're going to really invest in the regions and ensure that we can have an opportunity for people living in the regions, we have to make sure that we do that everywhere. And we have to invest in places where there presently are low populations. If we don't do that, there will never be people living in these areas. We see the same in our health services. At the moment, the health service in the North West is particularly under stress. And I raised the issue here the other day of the CAM service in Sligo, where we have a, a service in place for children and adolescents looking for mental health services. And they don't have a uh, child psychiatrist in place and the child psychiatrist keeps changing and keeps leaving because there's nobody wants to come and stay and live in rural areas and that's the problem that we've got everywhere in the country. We have the same situation with regard to our ambulance services. At the moment the Tambulian signs are supposed to be that you'll be at the scene of an incident within 15 minutes. Where I live an ambulance would get it hard to be there within 40 minutes and people are at serious risk of losing their lives because we haven't got the infrastructure in place. And this is what this Rural Equality Bill is attempting to do, is to ensure that whatever laws we pass in this Parliament make sure that people in rural areas get equal access to everything. And that doesn't mean that people that live in Talla are going to be discommoded. It does not. It means that people that live in Leitrim or people that live in Donegal or people that live in Mayo or people that live in uh, rural parts of County Clare or anywhere else can have a fair and equal service with everyone else in every other part of the country. And bringing in this bill will ensure that we do that, that anything that's been done, that we look at, what will its impact be on rural Ireland? Will we ensure that rural Ireland is a place that can prosper, that there can be a future for people, because at the moment there is no sense of future for many people living in rural areas. For an awful lot of them, their young people are forced to emigrate, if not out of the country, certainly to the larger, more populated areas. So we want to make sure that we do service everyone in every part of the country, and that includes those who live in rural areas. And I particularly think of our older people that live in rural Ireland. Very many of them have absolutely no access to public transport, they have very little access to a, an adequate health service. And to ensure that we put that in place <coughs> means that we have to look at everything that we bring through this Parliament and have rural equality built into it. And that's what this bill is about, and I will commend it to the House. Gorham Aigad. Gorham Aigad, Deputy Kenny. Um, is the bill being opposed? No. So the uh, motion for leave to introduce is agreed, and I would ask uh, Deputy Kenny to move that the second stage be taken in private members' time. I move that it's taken the second stage. Agreed. Thank